Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to knead a pair of fingerless mitten using the technique we show in previous video. That's a two color mock brioche technique. And I'm going to use it on LK150 knitting machine and make a pair for average adult woman's size. And the construction is very simple. We have a big rectangle piece and a separate triangle piece for the thumb. And then we can sew it up after we're done. For the ribbon part, I'm going to use mock ribbon. So here's my needle arrangement. I have it from left 20 to right 21. Because it's every other needle, so I want it to be odd number. And I set my tension to number 5 for both carriage and uh, tension rod. After 30 rows of plain knitting, I'm going to knead the main part. And remember we are looking at the back side, so you have to decide which color will be the front. And uh, you can always do a sample and see which combination you like the best. I'm going to continue using the same color yarn for the main part, but I want to leave a mark. So I have some waste yarn here and just put it in the hook so I know this is the first row. Yeah, do the same on the other side. Just so I know this is the end of the mark ribbon. For the main part of the fingerless mitten, according to my design, it's about 30 rows too. And after 30 rows, we'll do some mark ribbing again. Now I'm just going to continue knitting 30 rows. Now I need 30 rows, we are going to do the mark ribbing again. You can continue with the same yarn and just leave a mark at the beginning and the end, or you can change color. I will cut the yarn now and change to the second color yarn. And because we are going to do mark ribbing, so every other needle works fine. So I'm not going to change any setting. I want to need a 20 rows and fold it back to 10 rows because I would like it to be a little bit shorter. So I will just need another 20 rows. And you might want to take off some weight and then start hanging. You can see the different color here. Hand it to the first empty needle. The second one to the fourth stitch. The next one to the sixth stitch. Now we can knit one row. And start our main piece, just knit it back, picking up stitches. And for the first row, you can pick up the two colors, one strand of each color, and place it back to the number two needle. And the next one. Push all the needles out. I need one row. And after the first row, I can just pick up one line below instead of two bars. Next.
And we'll keep repeating that until we go back to the mark ribbing, the area we marked earlier. So we need the one last row for the center part and the rest are the mark ribbing because we can tell from the marker we placed earlier. Now we can take off the weight and see if we can hand it back. And that's our mark ribbing part so we can fold it in half and hand it back to the needles. And since we have every other stitch for mark ribbing, you can hand it back every other stitch. Here is the first stitch, the gray color. I'm handing back to the second needle, and you can also hand it to first needle. We just need to make sure it's every other stitch. So the next one will be the fourth needle. And then we just keep going, pick it up, hand it on to the needle. Here is the last stitch, hand it back. And we can knead one row and then bind off. Now I cut off the yarn leaving a long tail and thread it through. I'm just going to use the sewing bind off. One stitch back. And then two stitch forward, one stitch back from the front. You can take up the first needle and we will continue doing that. Two stitch forward from the back and one stitch back from the front. Take it off. That's what it looks like off the machine. This is the wrist part and that's the top. I use the red color for the top. And that's the other side. This is the right side. I know I want to use this side as a right side. That's why I have the back side here. Let me take off the waist yarn. The front and back look very different. When you stretch, you can still see the two color. You can use either side as a front. Next, we can fold it in half and we will make a piece for the thumb and just sew it together so it will be like that or you can use the other side like that for the thumb piece it will be just a triangle and it will be easier to go from the top down we'll do a few rows of mark ribbing and then reduce the stitches until the end here and you can pick any color yarns you like I'm just going to use one color and plain stitch and I think I will go with the purple color. For the stitch number, since we already have this part here, the mark ribbon, we can just measure from there. About half of the stitch will be enough for the thumb. So we will cast down about half of the stitches. That's around 20 stitches. 
So I'm going to pull out the needle from left hand and every other needle until right 11. You can cast on with waist yarn or e-rub cast on. And I will have less row than here. Here I have 20 row and fold it down to 10. Maybe I will have 14 rows and then fold it down to 7 rows. I will just start with e wrap cast on and knead 14 rows. You can also reduce the tension a little bit if you think this is too loose. I reduce it to tension 4 here and we will need 14 rows. That's the piece for the thumb, the front and back. Now we just need to sew it together. This part will attach to the main piece and the top part will be separate. You can do it this way or turn it the other way. Or you can have two different gloves. It doesn't have to be exact match.